Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about AWS to Azure Services Comparison. As the leading public cloud platform, both Microsoft Azure and AWS each offer a broad and deep set of capabilities with global coverage. Many organizations choose to use both platforms together for greater choice and flexibility, as well as to spread their risk and dependencies with a multi-cloud approach. Microsoft Azure services can be purchased using several pricing options, depending on your organization's size and needs. Azure subscriptions are a grouping of resources with an assigned owner responsible for billing and permissions management. In AWS, where any resources created under the AWS account are tied to that account, and subscriptions exist independently of their owner account and can be reassigned to new owners as needed. Let's start compare compute services on Azure and AWS. Let's talk about EC2 instances in AWS and Azure Virtual Machines in Microsoft Azure. Although AWS instance types and Azure Virtual Machine sizes are categorized similarly, the RAM, CPU, and storage capabilities differ. In AWS, we call EC2 instance types. In Azure, we call Azure Virtual Missions. Let's talk about EBS and Azure Storage for Virtual Mission Disk. Durable data storage for Azure Virtual Missions is provided by data disk residing in block storage. This is similar to how EC2 instances store disk volumes on Elastic block, block Store. Azure Temporary Storage also provides virtual machines the same low latency temporary read write storage as EC2 instance storage. Let's talk about Lambda in AWS and Azure Functions, Azure Web Jobs, and Azure Logic Cap. Azure Functions is the primary equivalent of AWS Lambda in providing serverless and on-demand code. However, Lambda functionality also overlaps with other Azure services. What is Azure Logic Caps? Logic Caps provides communications, integrations, and business rule management services. What is Azure Web Jobs? Azure Web Jobs allow you to create scheduled or continuously running background tasks. Let's talk about auto scaling, Azure Virtual Machine Scaling, and Azure App Service Auto Scale. Auto scaling in Microsoft Azure is handled by two services Virtual Machine Scale Sets and App Service Auto Scale. Virtual Machine Scale Sets allow you to deploy and manage an identical set of virtual machines. The number of instances can auto-scale based on performance needs. App Service Auto-Scale provides the capability to auto-scale Azure App Service solution. Let's talk about batch processing. Azure Batch allows you to manage compute intensive work across a scalable collection of virtual missions. Let's talk about containers and container orchestrators. In Azure, the Azure Kubernetes service supports Docker containers managed through Kubernetes. There are a couple of video sessions available in my channel about these Azure container instances. Please go through those 
video sessions. And next one, serverless. We just discussed about Lambda in AWS and Azure Functions, Azure Web Jobs, and Azure Logic Caps. Azure Functions is the primary equivalent of AWS Lambda in providing serverless and on-demand code. However, Lambda functionality also overlaps with other Azure services. Let's talk about database technologies on Azure and AWS. Microsoft Azure provides several different relational database services that are equivalent of AWS relational database service. Microsoft Azure offers SQL database, Azure database for MySQL, Azure database for PostgreSQL. And also it offers other database engines such as SQL Server, Oracle, and My MySQL can be deployed using Azure Virtual Machine instances. Cost for AWS RDS are determined by the amount of hardware resources that your instance uses like CPU, RAM, storage, and network bandwidth. In the Azure database services, cost depends on your database size, concurrent connections, and throughput levels. Let's talk about analytics and big data in Azure. And Azure provides these following services, HD Insight, Data Factory, SQL Data Warehouse, Data Lake Store, Machine Learning, Stream Analytics, Data Lake Analytics, and Power BI. Let's talk about each service. Azure Data Factory provides data orchestration and data pipeline functionality. Azure SQL Data Warehouse is a large scale relational data storage. Data Lake Store is large scale storage optimized for big data analytics workloads. Machine learning is used to build and apply predictive analytics on data. Azure Stream Analytics is real time data analysis. Azure Data Lake Analytics is large scale analytics service optimized to work with Data Lake Store. Azure HD Insight is managed Apache distribution that includes Hadoop, Spark, Storm, or HBase. And Azure Power BI is used to power data visualization. Let's compare networking on Azure and AWS. Let's talk about elastic load balancing in AWS and Azure Load Balancer and Azure Application Gateway. The Azure equivalents of two elastic load balancing services are Azure Load Balancer and Azure Application Gateway. Azure Load Balancer provides the same capabilities as the AWS Classic Load Balancer. Azure Load Balancer allow you to distribute traffic for multiple virtual machines at the network level. Azure Load Balancer also provides failover capability. Azure Application Gateway. Azure Application Gateway offers application level rule-based routing comparable to the AWS Application Load Balancer. Let's compare Route 53 in AWS and Azure DNS and Azure Traffic Manager. In AWS, Route 53 provides both DNS name management and DNS level traffic routing and failover services. In Microsoft Azure, this is handled through two services, Azure DNS and Azure Traffic Manager. Azure DNS provides domain and DNS management. Azure Traffic Manager provides DNS level traffic routing, load balancing, and failover capabilities. Let's talk about direct connect in AWS and Azure Express Route. Microsoft Azure provides similar site to site dedicated connections through its Express Route service. 
in aws we use they use a uh, direct connect to provide a dedicated connections in microsoft azure express route service is used to provide dedicated connections it doesn't travel over the internet express route allows you to connect your local network directly to azure resources using a dedicated private network connections azure also offers more conventional site-to-site -site vpn connections at a lower cost let's compare storage on microsoft azure and aws let's talk about s3 ebs efs in aws and then we will talk about azure storage in the aws platform cloud storage is primarily primarily broken down into three services simple storage service elastic block storage and elastic file system simple storage service that is s3 s3 is basic object storage that makes data available through an internet accessible api elastic block storage ebs is block level storage intended for access by a single virtual machines efs efs is file storage meant for use as shared storage for up to thousands of ec2 instances let's talk about store azure storage in azure storage subscription bound storage accounts allow you to create and manage the following storage services block storage table storage queue storage and file storage block storage stores any type of text or binary data such as document media file or application installer you can set block storage for private access or share contents publicly to the internet block storage serves the same purpose as both AWS S3 and EBS. T table storage in Azure. Table storage stores structured data sets. Table storage is a NoSQL key attribute data store that allows for rapid development and fast access to large quantities of data. Similar to AWS SimpleDB and Dynam DynamoDB services. Queue storage in Azure. Queue storage provides messaging for workflow processing and for communication between components of cloud services. And file storage in Azure. File storage offers shared storage for legacy applications using the standard server message block protocol. File storage, use, file storage is used in a similar manner to EFS in the AWS platform. Let's talk about Glacier in AWS and Azure Storage. Azure Archiving Block Storage is comparable to AWS Glacier Storage Service. It is intended for rarely accessed data that is stored for at, at least 180 days and can tolerate several hours of retrieval latency. For data that is infrequently accessed, but must be available immediately when accessed, Azure Cool Blob Storage tier provides cheaper storage than standard Blob Storage. Azure Cool Blob Storage tier is similar to AWS S3 infrequent access storage service. And let's talk about Azure Backup. Azure Backup helps you to backup and record files and folders from the cloud and provide offsite protection against data loss. It's a similar service offered in AWS. Let's compare bulk data transfer in AWS and Azure. In AWS, 
they they use services snowball snowball edge and snowball snowmobile in azure we use azure data box azure data box family offers products of different storage capacities to help to send terabytes of data to azure in a quick inexpensive and reliable way to transfer offline data transfer in azure there are few services available azure data box disk azure data box data box heavy using a data box disk you can you can send the data less than 40 terabyte data box for data sizes between 40 and 500 terabyte data box heavy for data sizes greater than 500 terabyte microsoft ships you a one petabyte device via freight to copy data and ship back if you want to send data through online in microsoft azure you can use data box gateway Data box gateway, a virtual device with storage. Use data box gateway to send your data over the network to Azure. If you have any questions on services comparisons on Azure and AWS, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.